This conference will now be recorded. Very good morning. Uh, today we see that we'll see that uh, the remaining things like a so two care array. So it's a readily we are using two care array. So the main thing is a split. So we will use a split method regularly. Okay. So basically, so why we use a split method? So split method is a uh, a method where we have to uh, split the multiple data from the single string okay you see if you have a single string available suppose uh, uh, let's go So if this is a string, so you have to split uh, the string by separating by the comma. Comma you have to split, right? So basically the split method is used to split the string based on the um, particular values. Okay, so split will return the array as string array. Okay, string array. Usually takes the values like a so char array comma and options right so we have options like a string split options dot remove empty entries these things and all that right so here the char array it will take okay so usually so this char array if you want to pass that char array uh at the at the end so you should make sure that so you are passing a char array here suppose you are just using the new line separator environment dot this will be the single character new line okay but you have to convert to char array okay like this to char array so Otherwise, if you are separating by using the array means array represent this, this is an array. Array means you have to represent in the curly braces, right? So, in the array, suppose you have to split by using the uh, comma, just use the comma. Okay? But you can convert, you have to, this is the string. So, whatever you are keeping in the double quotes, that is called string. Okay. But what exactly it requires? What exactly it requires? So it requires the character array. Okay, character array. Uh, so this string you can convert using the C char, char, right? Or you can convert by using the convert to char, or you can convert the simple way is just put the c after double quotes c not within the double quotes after double quotes if you put the c okay c that will convert automatically the character okay c means it is a character character suppose for example if you have multiple values multiple characters you have to split suppose just imagine here <coughs> iot star ABC hash ABC star HTPC hash 
I did. So if this is a string, I have to split the all the values, but uh, so it's not, it's not only the single character, okay? Single character, so it's a star is there, hash, hash is there, and that is there. So then <clears throat> how can we do? So in, in the split method, and this two char array, two char array. So what we can do, we can just uh, in the curly braces just use the star double quotes C. That will convert it. this whole thing is a one character. Comma again hash double quotes C. So C should not be inside the double quotes. Okay. Comma at the red C. So this is a collection of the array of characters okay array of characters you have to pass the array of characters yeah okay so this, this will so this will split uh, with either it is a star is there or hash is there or at the rate is there so in the, all the places it will split okay now so this will give so split will give the collection so once your collection comes so what you can do suppose for example you give like a abc equal to this one right this is a string okay abc otherwise a a a, a, a array equal to a dot split off right split off curly braces suppose if i give a star all the things or whatever we Give here and giving the other things here. Okay, you can close the bracket or you can give the options like a string split options dot remove empty entries. Okay. So this will split based on this uh, characters. Suppose if I say a array, a, a r of uh, two, if I type this two, what it will come? What is the value it will come? So this array is a array, a array of strings, okay? So zero, a array of zero, this will there. A array of one, A array of two, A array of three, A array of four, A array of five. Got it. So if I give the A array of two, what it will come here? A B C. Okay. A array of five. What it will come? It will throw error. Okay, so four. Okay, five is also there. So zero, one, two, three, four. Right. So it starts with the zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Which one will come? JK, SN. Got it. So let's do the same thing in the our project. Okay. So first we will. In the dialogue, so I'm just asking the user to the. Uh, and do some string. Okay, so they will just, just give us strings to split. Suppose that is an A, okay. Suppose message box. Let's
so let us create a one variable to store the array a array that is a string array okay to store the string array you just select the collection of array of string so this add of string array of string equal to a dot split we give just a split okay let us see just simply split and as it is a collection of uh, strings i'm just using the for each activity to loop each and every item from this uh, a array okay this a array this is a string array right that's why i'm just changing the type argument to the string so now just simply get a message box to display that item. Item is an individual item. Okay. Let's try to run. Try to give the first one. Okay. If you don't give anything uh, in, in the split, just a simply split. Okay. Simply split. I copied the entire thing and here it is not splitting properly. Okay. Uh, it's saying the only single word. Okay. Now, Size of uh, 8900. This is our string. Okay. Let's copy this one. Okay. And run it again. We give the initial initial part in the first line. It, it is not uh, splitting. So it is just giving the as it is. I just gave the another thing. See, it is a split chat by using the space automatically. Okay. See, Rajesh order the product called okay so each and every line is coming so if you want to get the clear information so here in the for each activity you have your index if, okay i'm just giving the index idx so we will see that which idx is what idx is like a idx idx not too strong okay If you want to split based on the if you want to split the string based on the space character and uh, no need to do anything just use the split method directly see zero eighth character zero eighth uh, position index rajesh is there order is a one position uh, d is a second position product right so it's a sort with the zero and uh, there is a positioning right so where you want to split based on the space not required anything here okay this is a space i'm just giving the some annotation uh so here sudhir uh, can we split without using the space today is it possible based on the one second Without without using this uh, uh, space, the first one which you showed it was not able to split, right? In the note, but yeah, that yeah. one, yeah, you're right. Yeah, this one we have to do. Okay, we will do by using the comma. Okay, so just see okay. which is the separator. Okay, or you want to split by using the this or this. Okay, so okay. that is the next thing we will see. Okay, next thing. Okay, sure, sure. sure. Not the first thing we are not able to split, right? First yeah. thing. We're not able to split now if you use a simple split automatically it will do by using the 
space no need to you know you don't need to mention if you want to uh, split based on the space you don't need to mention okay now this plate or to what is the syntax write down the syntax that is a this is a syntax right so where is that car array and options that's it okay car array and options car array we'll see this car array okay this car array uh back it open we give the this car array comma so use my options. Super accurate, but back support is not there. Sorry. Okay, still split options is also there. Okay, you can just remove empty spaces wherever it is empty. So let me remove this one. So without this, okay. Up to this, do you understand? Up to this, okay. What we give in the split method, the first uh, the, the parameter is called care array. So now in this in this case we have to split based on the comma that's why we give the comma as a character comma as a character and this this is a very simple okay within the double quotes you gave and after that you just give the c okay so that is a shortcut so if you give the c after double quotes immediately okay don't give the space here okay not don't give the space here okay so if you give the space here again the error comes to here okay so it should attach like this let us try to do what will happen here now we will give us this string this string i'm copying and paste it here okay see rajesh it is split it based on the comma company name and the employee ID and the date of birth okay so what will happen this is the one string right suppose somewhere here some value is missing that will be salary this is a salary right the salary is missing okay. or something is missing here right so what will happen if I give the, the like this got it actually just imagine this is a name company and uh, employee ID and here the salary they're not provided that's why it is a empty comma comma okay here the comma comma is there okay see here Raj company and this one see here empty came in the third position empty came so to avoid that kind of empty spaces so wherever so while splitting after splitting the uh, uh, string based on the comma or anything so if you are giving the value itself it is empty so you don't want that type of empty values you can use the options the options is like a string split options dot remove empty entries okay so just do the same exercise same example we'll see again the same thing copy paste here so we have a comma comma but see raj is in the zero companies in the two one two directly you go to the three so what it would happen it skip the empty part okay so that's why it's better to use the so wherever you wherever you require better to use the uh remove empty entries so that is a another thing okay now uh, this is a based on the comma the next thing is multiple values is you want to split based on the multiple values not only comma okay here we have a different type of string is there right this one but here the star is there hash is there at the rate is there so we have to split based on that so okay so what we can do we can you can just simply see star is there comma hash is there like that so you can just uh, uh, increase this array okay so because this is a string uh, character array right so let us try to run
Yeah, run it. Here IoT come into the zero, BBC come into the one, ABC come into the two, HTPC three. But here in the three, at the rate it came automatically, right? So, but if if you want to split at the rate also, what we have to do? We have to again introduce that character also in the character array. And red C. Okay. Here there is no confusion. This is array. The array has a simple items: one, first item, second item, third item. Okay. So what we are saying that so any of this character comes, just split that part. Okay. Now let us run. See, JKSM, ABKL. Got it. So that is the main thing, character array. And this, yeah. Yeah, so did I have one, like, is C, uh, we have mentioned, so it is required uh, that to uh, uh, to write C there. Like, uh, if it is in collection, then C, like, only one column is there. So we can use dot split only. That second parameter we are giving C. Uh, this one, mm, C, yeah. No, no. So this is the first parameter, okay? The whole thing is the first parameter. It's not second parameter, okay? okay. So yeah, for yeah, the split yeah. method, the whole thing, the curly braces, this whole thing is the one uh, parameter. So the next thing is, this is the one parameter, okay? Only two parameters. One parameter, first parameter, and second parameter. Within the first parameter, this is a collection, okay? Array of strings, okay? So if you mm -hmm. just give the double quotes, on, double quotes only, this is the array of strings, okay? So what it will do, okay, let us try this one. Okay. So this one also, okay. Let us try and see if it's working. Yeah, then no need to give the strings. I mean, C. Yeah, it is working. Okay. Then no need to give the C also. Okay. So basically, the C is converting the why why it is working. See the signature of the split method. Okay. The signature of the uh, split method is a char array right brackets represents okay. char array okay next one so how many six six uh, uh, uh okay six different sign uh, signatures are there okay next one is a string array so now we give the string right that's why it automatically converts as a uh, uh, taken this method okay string array next one is a char array and sp split options right char array so if we give the c that is going to this call this one okay like that got it yes you can use that directly in the double quotes also uh, and also uh, some sometimes the environment dot new line you already know right so splitting the by in using the environment dot new line okay so that is a split method so split based on the any characters uh so yeah okay you ask like a yeah, equal to method right equal to method is like a um, see if here we're splitting right if i use the if condition if item dot equals equals means everything is a matches suppose so abc is matches abc the whole thing okay abc is matches this is the equality method so you ask the question right explain the equality method again right so this this here so we're getting the item is a single single item okay so now this item contains so abc then go to this for this part because this equals method always give the boolean as a output okay but this condition requires the boolean so boolean boolean it is a match okay so you should not write like a do to string because see here so because you're converting that entire thing as a two string but the 
this text box, the condition text box requires the Boolean value. Okay? Then it will show this type of error. So at the end, we have to make sure that, okay, so this will return the Boolean value, true or false. Got it. Uh, one more question. So there is any difference between contains and equals? Contains also uh, give Boolean value here and equals also. Oh, give me one second. Give me one second. Not only the contents, yeah. So not only the contents and the equals. Okay. The uh, what's that? The starts with will give the boolean value. Ends with will give the boolean value. Okay. So basically, this ABC so equals with entire word is equal to the ABC or not. This entire item is equal to the ABC. Okay. That is a uh, uh, equals. Suppose. Uh, a equal to this is UI path learner class. Okay, so if a dot e, uh, contains UI path, then this will give the true because this whole string contains the UI path word, right? Okay, then it is giving the true. Suppose a dot equal UI path, this will return the false. Why? The A equal to, see, see so A equals to 10, B equal to 90, is right? A equal to B. We are check, checking the entire thing. Got it? Okay. Now, if I, if you give this entire thing in the equals method, you have to check like this. Okay. Then, is are giving the true. Got it? Ask Abhishek. Right. Yes, we got it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, not only the equal, not only the contents, the starts with will give the return the true value, ends with will return the true value, the mean Boolean value. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is about the contents equals. Okay. Okay, now so we'll see that uh, the next part, next thing is like a uh, two care array. So basically, so when we are just using the two care array, the splitting based on the characters, that's it. Okay, so for example, using that uh, uh, assign operator. If I split uh, two car array, okay, instead of that variety message box here, a dot two car array. So that will convert the character arrays, okay, character arrays. Suppose if you have a uh, string. UI path, UI path, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this will give a convert this into the actual array. So in the 0th position, U is there. Okay, one position I is there. So like that, it will convert. Okay, two can array will give the what? It will give the what? Character array. So now, so. Uh, Zero. I'm giving the zero directly here. Zero at position it will come. Okay. You can just operate so UI path. Just see the first one came here. Okay. So if we give the one, the second one it will come. Okay. Convert that into the character array. Within the character array, you can just using the UI path. See the second one came. I.
the same thing you can use a for each activity for each activity and uh, use a a dot to care array and the what is the type here type is a what is the type here is type argument which one i have to select type in the chat window or you can speak which one i have to select in the type argument why does a string see here what type of collection it is what type of collection it is so what what, what which array it is so the results the result of the a dot two car array so what is the result uh, output just type the output what is the output of this one car array right car array so if it's a car array the type argument is what so in the for each so if it's a if it's an int array it is an int type argument okay if it's a string array it is a string if it's a car array it is car that's it okay select the car the, the simple thing only okay so whatever what, which collection it is the same type you are selecting here that's it okay there's nothing uh, very complicated this okay thing okay why we have to go with the string it's not giving the string array right it is a car array let's browse it here cat cat just see the cat cat system not care of something is there system not cat <clears throat> okay what is a cat cat and you see you see individual thing is a uh, and this C, I'm just giving the C. So the like C is a character array. So let us do this message box here and use the C. Okay. If you want the index, you can just use the index also. Let us try to run it. UI path. So U first U came, I came, right? P came, right? A T H in path okay now here c int of this one so if i convert like this c int of this one dot to string again it is not converting character cannot convert to integer so the character value Cannot convert to integer. Why it's not convert to integer? Is it? Use a Microsoft. Okay, I just use a convert dot two into thirty two of C. Okay, convert dot two into thirty two of C. In this uh, dot two string plus C dot two string. Okay, so we'll see how it will work. You just convert your path. See eighty. 85 where the 85 come 85 105 that's the i 80 is a p 97 is a, a 116 is a t 116 104 which so this is the if you convert any character to the integer that will be the ASCII code that is the ASCII code for each character. That's a standard codes are there. Okay, just type the ASCII code symbols. Okay, so you see the ASCII codes 
So these are all the ASCII codes, okay? That ASCII codes are the standard. See, from where the capital A started, capital A, 65, 66, 65 to, these are standard things, okay? So there's 90. And uh, small A started from 97 to 122. What it? 97 to 122. Okay, so that is a converting these ones into the. So let us try to run and uh, what is the capital S? See here, capital S is a 83. Got it? 83. And uh, small u, just check the small u 117. 100D, where is that? 100. The hundred is D here. One out four H. One out one E. Not one E. R one fourteen. Here is R. Got it? So you will get the ASCII codes of each and every. each and every character has an ASCII code. Even so, zero has an ASCII code. Forty-eight is a zero. Okay, the key and the keyboard zero. If you just type the zero, the ASCII code is a behind that. The ASCII code is a forty-eight. Zero to nine. Okay, so fifty-six is a ASCII code here. Okay, so in the less than greater than equal to semicolon bracket. Okay, curly braces. Every every character has a some ASCII code. Okay, so to get the ASCII code in the same character, you can convert by using the convert dot two in thirty two. So it will give the ASCII code. Okay, that is about the split. Uh, the mean two care array method. Now, so the padding. Okay, so padding is like a. Let us ask the user itself the number. Okay. Message box. It's like a if you ask the user to the number like a a dot pad left. So pad left is a method, and the method has the number of what is the number of uh, characters, and uh, suppose for example here a I'm just displaying the a right. See. So what is the current uh, today's date? Because today's date is uh, like a, if I, if I give the today's date is a uh, 26, or is this 26, right? 26. So it is giving the 26, okay. If I give the, suppose uh, today's date is a five. Today is a five. So if I give the five, if I press okay, will it, will it uh, display the zero five or five? type in the chat window which one it will display zero five or five dd i'm just uh, saying that five only it will display whatever you are typing here it will display the five only but you if you want to so always the two characters okay if i give the five it has to show zero five if i give the 15 it has to show 15 only not zero 15 okay in that case Understand the situation is a real time situation is like this. Okay, if I give the five, it has to show that zero five. Okay, if I give the 14, four, that mean 14 only, okay, two characters. In that case, you can use a padding, comma, a, a comma, to oh, pad, pad right, pad right, pad left is there. Okay, pad right. So what is the number two two methods? One is a what is the length total length that is a two okay pad character pad character is like a uh, double quotes uh, a zero and, and C I'm giving the C yes, okay here you, you simply use a C after double quotes otherwise you can use use the convert dot two char okay or C char anything you can use okay three three methods you can convert now if I give the 
the number like a, a seven and giving the single digit okay but it is oh there is a right side right let's let's put the left side okay pad left so pad left and pad right you are giving the uh, two parameters one is a in the six here one is the first one is a parameter is like a number of characters number of digits and number of characters width actually the second parameter is a what character you want to replace with that empty spaces okay see zero four six game if i run again and give the now if i give the 12 what will be the result in the chart window what will be the result if we get the 12 error plus here 12 only okay no error okay so we are just telling that the whole characters is a two the whole characters are two the number of characters so within the number of characters if they provide the less than the number uh, two less than the number of characters then then the empty spaces whatever the empty spaces is there so those empty spaces fill with this character by saying that fill with this character got it and the same thing okay so here the bank numbers is like this okay bank numbers or our ids are like this but so you want to feel like a uh, totally five characters the bank number is of five characters zero eight nine zero 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 two okay the whole above thing will convert into the this one the formatted thing so and also we're just saying that so initially the pad left so five characters so wherever it is missing in the left side just fill that with the a special character okay so here if i give the five and so you can put the star or anything add add it to any character okay normally in the banks you can see right so i'm just giving the 60s all that is a remaining thing to the uh, matching with i gave the three uh, out of only two is left right and the two characters are giving the so if i give the five nothing will fill okay because it is a occupied what is the question can we use a length plus one as the first first parameter yeah yeah you can use the length for length of one okay yeah which length plus one a, a, a dot length you're saying a dot length plus one yeah we are hard coding that value here no? like a five we are giving so hard it should coded, be yeah, the hard code it's a, it's a hard code it is required here okay the basically see the bank numbers if you go to the banks that was sba it has a default 14 characters okay the bank account number is a 14 mm -hmm. character they are saying that okay? it's not like a so every bank number the number of digits may change the number of digits is a common as a 14 characters if you have less than 14 characters then it will fill be, uh, remaining things with the zeros okay if you okay. give the, you're saying that a dot length right a dot length you're saying that length yeah if you give the a dot length that is meaningless right so if the suppose a is a five if you give the so, suppose i have to five characters here what is the a dot length one only one on one it will always match one it won't give the this uh, this this thing okay so basically the purpose of the uh, pad length Bad left the bad right is to fill the gaps okay like a dot length plus two we can give and like if we need pad of a left side at the, the rate two. a dot length plus two here here it will increase here it will increase so a dot length plus two so plus one or two means here so this will give you like this okay two okay 
but here it has run length plus two here it will give like this okay it's not proper structure right okay. so it's not uh, following the single uh characters as a single length so that's why we have to fix that length okay it's not like a, a that's why a we don't know a may come in different uh, number of characters that's why we are just hard coding the value okay if we are depending the a, a then that is a dynamic every time it will change the number of characters so bank people bank business people they are saying that digits, digits of the account number should be a 14 characters okay if any so that's why they are just putting the zeros in front of the account number right that is a left padding okay that length is a common Yeah, this <clears throat> you're, you're saying different characters, right? So different characters you can feel not this is a character, right? So if I give the nine, so it will give, it will uh, fill the all the values so remaining values into the nine. Suppose I this is a character only. I'm giving the two only. Okay, see nine 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 two came right. Got it. So in the same way, the left padding. Okay. Uh, no, so I have a question like uh, we can give only nine fill with the nine nine so we can fill with the different uh, character to like uh, nine six we use the same pattern here like zero 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 or nine 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 uh, sorry ma'am come again uh, we use the same pattern like zero 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 or the nine 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 but can we fill with the uh, different two characters before the uh, our string like uh, nine zero or something like that? Uh, see, so basically the second parameter is a character, not a string. Okay, if you give the single character, huh. that is called string. Okay, huh? you yeah, you're saying character. so if I give the nine eight nine eight nine eight like that, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what your your question yeah uh, okay or, uh, yeah yeah i got it okay. thank you i got it yeah because it requires a single character only okay it allows yeah, the second parameter is a single character only okay uh, whatever character you want to replace you can uh, use the that character okay it may be any character the special characters or numbers or alphabets right any character Okay. Uh, so there is Saumya here. What is the C represents there? Is it a uh, converter? Yeah. So instead of you write the convert dot to car array to car, so you can simply use the C. Okay? okay. Otherwise, you can use this one also. Not your problem. Okay. The okay. Short, shortcut is a C. So if you give the okay. C, the string will convert as a C, uh, character. Okay. Thank you. So this is the left is a pad left uh, pad right right means it will convert the right side add the add in the right side okay a zero some places we are seeing right invoice number always uh, uh, should be a uh, 10 digits or, or five digits okay so within the five digits, it will give the zero 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 five zero 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 like that. Okay. So I'm giving the u, see u zero 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 zero. Whatever the this this is a next uh, direction is changed. That's it. Okay. Everything is a comma. Direction is changed. Pad right. Pad right and pad left. Pad right will add in the left side. Pad right add in the right side. Yeah. That's it about the strings. Okay. So pad left and pad right. Do you have any doubts in the strings? Any any methods? The string methods, do you have any doubts? Okay. There is a so the text files. So to read the text file, so read text file we saw right. So uh, there is a write text file. So jobs. 
Now this folder, so in this folder, don't write the text file so you can use the write text file, okay? Write text file. I'm just taking the another sequence use case okay write text file here you have to give us what is a text okay robotic process automation this is a path you have to mention slash uh, info.txt okay. info.txt run it it will create a one text file in this folder a new text file in this folder see this is an info.txt it's created within that info.txt the text is like a whatever we return there so it's created here okay but here so if i change this word into a string like a ui path learner okay what it will do, this text file is already there, right? So what it will do, it will remove that text. That means it will override, okay? So where is the robotic process automation text within this text file, okay? It will override, it removes everything and rewritten the everything. That is a write. If you just give the write, whatever is existing text is there, it will remove and it will override the with the new text. But the append, so see the append, the difference between the write text and append, okay? So append, append text. Let's use the append line. Okay. Append line and give the robo robotic process or option. And the path is from here. Path is from here. Run it. And this will just add the line at the end. It won't override, it won't disturb the existing text. It will add the at the data at the end. Okay, so now two lines are there here. Okay, if I write another thing like a so I'd run it. Here, see, it is appending the line. It is not disturbing the existing text. It is appending the line. That is called append the text. Okay. Now, write text. You know, right? Write text will write the text into the. So it will override. It will remove the entire thing. You override. Append text. It will append the text. So what happen if if uh, if you don't have a text file and we use the append text? Okay. If you don't have a text file existed. And we are trying to use the append text, it won't throw error, but it is trying, it, it is created that text file and append the line in the starting. Okay. Again, if I run the same thing, if it's already there, what it will do? It will just append to that line. See, we have a two lines. Append the line. Got it. Got it. Okay, now is the append line. So what we'll do, so anyway, we know the, uh, when we know that uh, data scrapping, by using data scrapping, we can just use, extract the, all the data, okay. So data scrapping, so not screen scrapping, data scrapping, and use this one, data scrapping. So we'll just extract the whole data. Once you select any cell, it automatically takes the, it is as a whole table. Just take the whole table, Okay, whole table and give the zero, click finish. Once you click on the finish, it will ask you to, uh, that our data is in the multiple pages. We don't have in the data in the multiple pages in this uh, scenario, okay. So it's a single page data only, okay. okay so now this data if you want to loop each and every row what we have to which which activity we have to use for each row 
activity just drag and drop the for each row activity and uh, use the output of this one the output of this one is an extract data tape okay copy this one and paste here this row represents each row okay if i just type the in the message boxes uh type the message box row of zero or so if you type the uh, the uh, name of this one's title right job title here in the double quotes job title okay dot to string let us try to run oh what happens okay so first first line it came okay first line some some junk is there right it came the first line okay next line next line see all the job titles are coming Now we have to write, so the requirement is here. We have to, the robot has to read entire data from this uh, table and uh, write the text files, append the text files with the uh, name. Okay, so the name is like okay. So which city, each city, city wise, it has to append the data. City wise, suppose for example, we'll just take that city Hyderabad, okay. Go here. The robot has to create a text file that is a hyderabad.txt see if it's not there okay so within that hyderabad.txt so the first one is a first one is like a what is a what is a job title colon slash your and so at the end hyphen what is this position right copy the position here position here and what is the eligibility right hyphen eligibility uh, equal to this one okay give the equal to position equal to okay and the job title equal to okay. this information we need okay so for the hyderabad location hyderabad location people so it has to go here okay now so what we can do that that is the requirement okay let's try to do that oh this mistake here use the append 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 line append line just drag and drop the append line here and remove the message box okay so <clears throat> what text we have to write and <clears throat> the text file path okay the common this up to the caesar text file path is common your slash and what is that the that mean the file name the file name is like a location this location right location here plus row of location dot to string okay plus dot txt file so this is how we, ha we are building the uh, the file path dynamically okay the the file path is a uh, each and every location the next one, next one is a text. In this text, here, what what is a thing? So like a first thing is a job title. Job title equal to job title, right? Job title. What is a job title? Row of job title. Dot to string. Okay. Plus. was again so hyphen position 
give the position equal to row of position dot to string plus hyphen so what is the eligibility eligibility equal to plus row of eligibility dot to string so why are you showing the errors let us see why are you showing errors see here so string to double so is there any double is there so so this is a dot to string is a dot to string ah here equal to came outside okay equal to click okay yeah now so now the jobs page is empty and try to run it you can see now so the text files will, will create okay it's also uh, one or more errors okay um no no nothing is up here one or more errors uh, so why it is uh, having the error okay so just try to display the entire thing So basically the, uh, the thing is initial part itself it is uh, having the error mm -hmm. initial line because the initial line does not have a, anything right the do, job title may have a something see job title is equal to entire thing right and uh, see so this is a uh, this is a uh, What is the problem here? So job title and this came in the first line. Okay, up to here, up to etc. Okay. Next one is a position. Position again the same text came. Eligibility again the same text came. Okay, right. So what is the problem with this one is so it is not able to create a text file. With, so we have to uh, and the job location also came the same same text right so location also become the same text so it's not able to create a uh, file with the same uh, this one for us right so what is the problem so let's try to create a file with this one okay let's try to create a file manually with this okay it is not it is saying that so do, it won't allow the semi uh, colons okay colon slash question mark star it won't tell you okay that's that's the problem got it that's the problem so is there any that type of characters are there only that this this part is there what we can do we can change that one into the uh, different thing okay suppose and also not only that not only that see there is a slash is there trichy slash Chennai, got it. See if I type the any slash here, ABC slash, got it. It won't allow you to create the that kind of text files. What we can do? There is somewhere. Suggest in the ch chat window. Suggest in the chat window. Okay. So here also, Bhuvaneshwar slash Noira. What we can do now? How can we go ahead? Somewhere there is a slash thing in the chat window. So what we have to do now, whatever we learn. So isn't that learning only? So colon and slash is just saying that. <clears throat> So we learn the string methods. This is a string dot replace colon comma space space empty bracket close or you give the hyphen so instead of colon but the colon there replace again slash comma hyphen okay you're just replacing yesterday we learned about the replace method right 
the old character and new character so so this method the, the file is not allowing to create a file with the uh, colon and slash so we are replaced with this hyphen right so that will may that may resolve the issue oh see got it so immediately it, immediately it should come in your mind oh we have to use the replace method okay or remove method see now that x files are increasing so 47 39 40 41 just observe here okay okay we got the all the text files for each and every city okay suppose if i open the bangalore so the bangalore has all the values see all the values job title and eligibility and position right, right? so punjab only one okay so like that you can do this uh, thing so do the same exercise a small change is like a open this uh, um, bedgojobs.com data scrapping so loop each row by using the row, row. what is that and here after data scrapping you can just immediately close close tab okay so you can close so that that is not required anymore right that browser is not required anymore okay. anyway we are in the we are where we, we have the data in the data table this the in this data table <coughs> what you have to do so the same thing but try with the same thing whatever we done now but after that the exercise is like a create a folder for each city okay create a folder for each city and so each qualification suppose for example here i'm just saying that uh so bangalore right it will create a one bangalore folder chennai folder kochi folder like that okay again chennai folder okay so robert has to create a folders like this within the within the bangalore so again uh, in the bangalore it has to create a jobs uh, okay so it's a qualification qualification wise okay go to here go to here and any degree qualification wise okay so the diploma oh, okay. Okay, what is this this is job title is this a company name so intel this is an all company names okay So which is a repeating repeating is a, like a yeah here it is repeating ihs and somewhere i saw the ihs okay so basically the company names okay job titles so based on the job titles so, so there go jobs in the bangalore how many there go jobs are there okay he has to create the text file with the so the company name, that means job title so within this the same thing again okay same thing uh, the same text it has to come suppose this is a bangalore so like this durga jobs and this durga jobs has a i mean all of these positions okay anyway this title is not required only the position and eligibility okay. give the position and eligibility because we know the location these things that is a exercise for you okay so first uh, create folder with location under location create 
file under location folder file with job title txt okay. under the location folder okay let's like example bangalore slash infosys dot txt okay. all the infosys jobs under bangalore comes this 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 location okay good so on the within the text so within the text file the data should be like this position and the position name okay. what is the position here okay eligibility the corresponding eligibility all right this is one exercise <coughs> so we completed the strings just taking this uh, symbol so so that we can understand which parts are completed and here the strings are completed we we'll go with the different uh, if conditions these things are not better okay. now this is an exercise yeah so do you have any doubts today's class on the exercise which you have to do or uh, do you have any doubts i hey hi sudhir ya kapil ji actually uh, yesterday you have given some assignment right but uh, no one is getting completed so better you can uh, take 10 to 15 say a minutes of session on that every day because uh, it's uh, because uh, we all are, uh, we all are come from non coding background so it's really hard to uh, do that all things so if you are just taking 10 to 15 minutes of session how to do what exactly we uh, means uh, which activity uh, we are taking so it's really helps to all what other people are think on that Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Day sixteen. What is the exercise? The day sixteen. What is the exercise? Uh, this is exercise. Move the folders, right? Move the folders to the weekly under. Okay. Now, uh, take the preview use case. So how can we do? So this is a, this is our use case, right? Ask the user to the one by one. Just go one by one. Okay. Ask the user to the. So we have to use uh, ask the user to the select the folder, right? So dialog, select the folder dialog, folder dialog. Okay. So this is for input. Create your own input folder. Input folder. Okay. So ask the same thing again to the user output. right so is a ask right so ask so output so we are giving the one message boxes so to just to the user just uh, in uh, select input folder okay got it so do the same thing for here also here also more box or the folder okay so that that will select the this insert what is the next one next thing is loop each and every folder from the input for the file from the input folder so use the for each row activity for each activity for for each So for each activity, so we have a formula, right? So we have so this is a string. I'm converting into the string. We have a formula like a so directory dot get files of what is that? Um, input folder, okay? Input folder. So this will give the list of uh, files, 
and uh, okay so you can just use the i file that is a single file a single file you use. so what is the next uh, thing you have to do check if the file name contains the weekly or monthly or this etc so use a if condition so okay, contents is a method okay if condition if condition if the file name uh, i file dot contains weekly okay so instead of that so you can convert into the uh, dot to upper or not okay so if you go uh, convert into the upper then this is a weekly okay upper case if you if you give the here lower you have to give the lower case so this is for uh, this if condition is for weekly okay so go to the output folder so the output folder there's a weekly folder so okay this if the weekly folder is not there or if it is up there not a problem okay uh, here you can just create our path like this there is a path exist is there okay so here just select the folder so the folder you have to select so uh, what's that so the folder name is like a uh, this is a e weekly right so the folder name is like a uh, output folder plus slash weekly okay so whether this folder is a weekly folder is existed or not we are checking okay. <clears throat> here just check is weekly exists so if it's a weekly exists, don't create. If it's not weekly exists, you have to create if condition. This is drag and drop here. So if weekly is not existed, so here also I'm just removing the okay. So okay. Is weekly existed or is folder exist? Okay. You can use a is folder existed. Is folder existed. Is folder existed. Okay. If the is folder existed then it will go to the then block okay otherwise you can use a not operator not operator the file the folder is not existed okay then create a folder okay. create a folder just drag and drop create a folder this one copy this folder part and give here it will create a folder for you okay that's it okay this is for creating the folder once it's created the folder uh then so what we have to do uh is the contents are weekly we have to move the file okay move file there's a move file is there just drag and drop the move file and the file is a i file okay i file is a file that's what we are you were in the for each activity the i file is having the full path from the input folder okay so the destination okay the destination is like a so so you know up to here right the weekly folder up to here you know right here up to here uh, slash here the path dot get file name okay so because i file if you give the i file this will be the source file path okay i file so what we need only we need only the file name not the full path of the okay. so that's why we're giving the we already learned that how to get the file name from the a path c drive colon slash these things and all okay that is a formula okay write down in the notebook path dot get file name that is a method okay. so this will move to the thing so if you want to click over it it will over it it won't ask you to uh, any anything so so this is a uh one weekly thing right so what we can do see here so we can just uh, so replicate the same thing copy paste copy paste copy paste in the all the things that is a fine so see weekly weekly here right so and also where is that weekly here the words are weekly right weekly and can we can we create an array okay so okay time lines timelines array of strings because you can duplicate the code that's not your problem duplicate the code and uh, uh, rename everything wherever it is a weekly you can take it as a monthly like that but the 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 better thing that means so the goodest thing is uh, like okay, so you just create a there, there's a standard thing right weekly comma monthly comma yearly 
comma daily right we have a uh, array so loop each and every array so, so for each and everything here this weekly this is a position right this is a position here this is just for understanding okay okay so use the for each this this for each is for each and every file again use the inner for each and for each for time uh, rpt time okay so which one weekly or monthly so time mm, timeline timeline so it is not coming so why because it may maybe we it, it is in the scope some scum scope okay where is the timelines this time is in the scope okay let's put increase the scope okay increase the scope here are the timelines time is basically the strings right give the strings so each rpt time so that is a there's a period okay just drag and drop this one inside that wherever you have a weekly or monthly so just remove that part rpt dot rpt t dot to upper so this one also you have to increase the upper okay and uh, expand this one wherever this is a value weekly let's put rpt t okay and here also if it's not there it will create remove that rpt so that's a one time doing is a very easy after that so it's a that means one time is a hard after that it is a very easy because we are just copy paste and we doing that right rpt now so folder and weekly or monthly or daily folder and file name okay here also create the folder weekly or daily or monthly okay and then here also you're checking weekly or daily or monthly here also you're checking the whether the is a weekly or monthly or daily okay got it yeah this is how we done so let us try to run so now we have output folder and uh, where's the other folder this other folder move it's not move user data okay this is a user data is a having the let us select the user data <laughs> here i am selecting a uh, user data is a input and it is asking to select the output select the output is a output <clears throat> output folder is a, currently output folder is empty there's no values okay i'm selecting the output folder and click ok that's it run okay go to the output folder see all the files are created all the folders are created okay daily folder created and move all the file in so daily monthly folder created all the monthly files move to the monthly folder weekly folder created and all the weekly files move to the weekly folder and yearly folder created all the yearly folder goes to the yearly yearly, yearly files go to the yearly folder so that is a yeah solution for this yeah just go through this code yeah yes. we have gone to more file here so in more file uh, like uh, we use output plus uh, art pt uh, here so till that only it will work now like it will drop the file at that location uh, output plus yeah, folder you plus... To, yeah you have to mention the full path okay. uh, if it it, 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 it will it will not drop there like if we give output folder plus rpt till rpt plus only uh you're saying this is not required that's what you are saying yeah like output folder is having that path and that rpt will give that weekly thing uh, <clears throat> let us try so why this uh this is uh, still here why it's not moved you see why it's not moved why that is not moved the daily folder why that file is not moved i'm just asking so. yeah, take it. Huh? a spelling mistake 
yeah. spelling mistake okay that's why it is not able to identify okay just remove this one so now we will try the this way so without using the file path the destination Select the folder, user data, select the folder, output folder, the output folder, output folder. Yeah, now it's done. Yeah. So I think it's working. Okay. It's working. No need to give the that full path. Okay. Yeah, no, only that uh, path is enough. If sometimes uh, the copy file or somewhere it, it, it will draw error. Okay, so then you can just go with that one. Only folder path is enough. Both the case it will work. So you can give the file path, full path. You can give the full path, and you can, you're just uh, uh, showing to that this is the folder or, or destination folder. Okay, so here everything is we covered, right? So in up to upper contents method for each activity. For each right, so the directory dot get files. So every day is the select select folders, right? Every day, every day is a practice, then then it will be just useful, right? Okay. Uh, do you have any doubts? You all understand yesterday yesterday's exercise? How we done? Uh, yes, so there it's really good. It helps a lot to all of us. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, see you. See you uh, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is Saturday. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you.